Hello my dear health seekers, Inga from Health Origins here and I'm joined by Mark straight away because we've got some hot sausages here for you so we decided to find um, an ultimate vegan UK sausage. So this is the selection I found in Sainsbury's. Um, I'm sure it's also in some other supermarkets, but this is the offerings um, I got in Sainsbury's. So we've got eight sausages, eight, eight sausages for you to try. So let's begin. So um, I'll kind of section them in two um, bits and I'll show you all um, a picture of all the packaging and everything as we go along. But now I kind of wanted to do a semi blind test for Mark because he doesn't know which sausage is which exactly. So we're going to do a taste test and decide which ones we like and then I'm going to reveal which um, actual sausages they are, which brands. So, so we're gonna go, we've got five um, general kind of sausages, so with no extra flavoring as such. Oh, so, okay. you know, just kind of generic your pork or just kind of vegan sausages, okay? So, um, so we're gonna do that. And then we've got three slightly flavored sausages too, because I thought it wasn't quite right to put them in the same category because it's completely different. So we'll kind of compare the three against each other and then the five um, separately as well. So yeah, so let's start from beginning, I guess. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. So, so let me just cut. So what you want me to tell you if they're bland, like like a normal sausage, well not bland, but you know, like a normal sausage. Well, if it's if it's a nice, just a nice sausage, and then we'll get, kind of compare one against each other, basically, okay. um, and see which one we prefer. You know? It was quite tricky to get all the timings right for because all these different sausages kind of needed different times, so I have to put some in after some before not to mix the the um, what you know like the sequence of them but mm. you like it that one's nice i think i know which one that is okay right so <laughs> so let's let's not guess let's just um continue on okay so it's it's nice isn't it i quite mm. liked it it's pretty good yeah I yeah. can taste a bit of like spiciness, kind it of like pepper at the back a little bit, but it, mm, it has good taste. It has got a little bit of something at the back, hasn't mm. it? It just kind of hits your throat slightly, but... Yeah. So, number two. So close, actually. Very close, but it's... To the other one. Am I getting a smokiness from that one? Mmm. It's not as salty as the other one, but it's still quite full of flavour. Oh, it's nice. I quite yeah. like that, actually. Just, yeah, it's quite nice. So, between the two so far? I, th I think probably... I mean, they're very close, but I think probably the second the one... The second, it's I not, think, it's for me as salty. well. Uh, the other one's a little bit... Yeah. It, it, it's so, this is salty. slightly different now. So, Ooh. let's... <laughs> Let's give this one a go, if our knife would cut. <laughs> um. <laughs> She's looking at me because I brought the knife. Yeah, he brought the wrong knife. We never used this one. I did, I did ask her about the smaller one, but she said no on that too, so I... Uh... So, uh, there we go. So this is a third one. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's quite impressive. Mmm. Oh guys, I'm such a fan of this one. The uh, the casing's a bit tougher. Yeah, the casing is a bit chewy, tougher, but... But the... Uh, the mm, it is, wow. That's good flavour. That's good flavour. The flavour is so amazing. Right, so I'm liking that one. That's number three. Number four. So let's taste test number four. 
I should have a glass of water or something to cleanse my palate between sausages. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Now that's a bit different. Mm. I can definitely taste pea in this. Can you? I was going to say greenery of some kind. It's very For me it's pea. A herby kind of. I can definitely taste either green pea or yellow pea, whatever split pea is that it is. Oh, no. I can definitely taste that. Can you? I kind of know what you mean, yeah, like a... Like it's a more like, like a... Star, like a starchy... Yeah, it's kind taste. of more like a mushy taste, isn't it? Yeah. A bit like... Yeah. Definitely I don't like that one as much. I definitely, I mean, it's still all right. It's, it's not nice. nice. It's nice, but it's but not... But I think not quite like number three, definitely. Not, no. not for me. So this is number five. Get the better end here. There we go. It's smoother. Mm. Definitely smoother. Very smooth. This one said it's only needed five, seven minutes to to cook. Yeah. But I think I would probably bake it for like maybe ten. Because to me it's it seems like it's not fully kind of cooked yeah. through like it's it's got quite a nice flavour. Um, you know, yeah. kind of that savory savory flavour. It's not mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it, it's like anything special, it's just kind of a normal flavour. It's probably one of the unflavoured ones, I think. Um, yeah. But it, it, is, it is a lot Yeah, we're doing the unflavoured ones now. Oh, these are all unflavoured. Oh, well, there you go. So I was right. Um, but it does, it's more like a kind of... Smooth. Like a smooth but paste, it, kind of, yeah. rather, than a, rather than a... It's, it's not got the know. bite, doesn't yeah, it? No. But I think it probably needs a couple more minutes, actually, baking time. Um, because mm. I was so surprised it's five like seven minutes so it didn't seem long enough for me mm. so maybe you know maybe you know if you give it ten minutes it might be better and then we're gonna go for flavored um, so this is number um, six that I've put on so let me or just one of the flavor one of the flavors so number one from the flavored basically okay so That's let's <laughs> so let's try this. This one is definitely oilier. Can you see that? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of oil come off this one. I don't, mm. know. I don't know if you can see that on there. Well, they can see it's in the pan, Mark. Oh, of course you can. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Right, straight away. You've got that kind of chorizo-ish flavour. Yeah. Um, Funny that, because this is a chorizo flavour. It's yeah, sausage. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Um, yeah, you definitely get that. Yeah, that pepper, peppery. But I'm not too fan that it's quite oily. That one was also a bit oily, the, the fourth number four. one. Yeah. Number three is impressive. It's not too oily. That was so delicious. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's probably I think it's still one. my winner for now. Right, number seven. So this is a second one from the flavored. Flavored. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so let's give this one a go. That seemed to have a bit more texture as I was trying to push through with the fork. Mm. And it doesn't have the casing on this one, actually. Oh. You know, it's caseless. You can tell. I think that's why it's a bit tougher to kind of hold it together. That's not actually too bad. No. Mm. It's got separate little bits of grit in, in there, like kind of little pieces of like almost fat or something, yeah. you know, it feels like. I tell you what it reminds me of, stuffing. Mm. It reminds me of stuffing. It's probably got a few of the same. Because it's got rosemary in it, that's rosemary, why. Yeah. There you go, so it's, it's got that kind of right. that, uh, stuffing taste to it. And then this is the third one of the flavoured ones, which will give it a go. The last of the sausages. Yeah, the last one to try. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> the less said about that, the better. Okay. Right. Mm. Oh, it's oh. garlic. Let's give this a go. Mm. It's quite nice. I would say it's my favourite. It's. Mm. So from. Right, okay, let's do an easier one, or is it more difficult, maybe? Let's that pick a winner it. from the flavoured ones, right? Ooh, that's... I, I, I don't think the last the last one, the last flavoured one was... 
the best. It's kind it of wasn't a bit too much yeah, flavor. There's not really a lot of, a lot of flavor there. Um, so between the, the two. I didn't really like the texture of it either. It's, so no. I'd say I, me, act I actually like the first one best. Chorizo, yeah. Chorizo. For me as well. I'm not a fan of all the oil in it. That's the only yeah. thing. But if you're going to do Flavor this wise. an occasional treat, right? Then um, this is actually really nice. It does taste like chorizo. So, so I can reveal the However, last three. I, I do think if you didn't want that chorizo taste, the, the, the second, second of the one flavored ones actually rosemary pretty good as well. That, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's really well, nice. Well, I can reveal that number six, which was like the chorizo flavored, mm. is actually Plant Pioneers um, chorizo flavor. So it's like. Um, one of of the four that don't actually have soy so this is plant pioneers is a sainsbury's own brand mm. so if you if you have an aversion to soy or you yeah. just don't like soy for whatever reason that so would be a yeah good option. and that was i think the only from the three of the plant pioneers because i've got two others in here but that was the only one that i believe doesn't have um plant uh, sorry plant um palm oil in, ah, the, in the other two there is sustainable palm oil right um, but this one the chorizo one and um, it doesn't have um, um, palm oil as far as I remember I'll, I'll double check for you but um, I think so um, so yeah so that was plant pioneers chorizo which is soy free which is great for soy allergies people because obviously it's made from um, mushrooms mainly that's why it's called shroom dogs um, okay, so number seven was Linda McCartney caramelized onion and or red onion and mm. um, what's red onion and rosemary? Rosemary, there you go. <laughs> we had those before and we quite like them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good so option. so that was you know good from the flavored ones. And then the last one was actually Plant Pioneers caramelized onion one. So that's the same people as make the chorizo. Or, yeah but but that was completely different like not much i couldn't taste much of a caramelized onion no. flavor at all we, we may have, have messed our taste buds up a little bit by having so many but yeah. uh, no it, but it, it wasn't really it caramelized onion as much flavor uh, no. as i would have liked i did uh, I and could. The, the texture was off a little bit as well it just didn't quite mm. have that like nice sausage, sausage yeah. texture so so from the first five that we tried i think we know the winner right i, I think the winner it's winner, number yeah. three that is a longer sausage which is a win-win yeah you get a bigger <laughs> sausage right who doesn't like a big sausage because it it was great in taste it was great in texture i thought mm. you know it's held the, well the only the only thing i would say about the texture was what, what i said before about the casing is a little bit a little bit tougher casing a bit more chewy casing but yeah it's it's not a it's not a deal breaker by any so let's go through the five sausages then um, I'll do the four and then I'll reveal the winner what's the winner Can I just say I think the first yeah. one uh -huh. I think that's the Richmond sausage yes cha -ching. Cha -ching, yes just because I've, I've had it before and I, can, it, I remembered it tasted a bit like the uh, the Greg's vegan sausage roll kind yeah. of sausage it has so that. that's kind of that so that's number one Richmond sausage yeah um, then we've got Naked Glory, the second one. It's, oh, I've never, never had that before. Yeah, never so it's that. another plant-based company mm. um, that does... Um, Very similar to, to the Richmond, Richmond yeah. but, but just not quite as salty, it's, yeah. uh, but it's still full of flavors. So That's this a is option. actually a great option if you don't want to support a meat company as such, right? Because Richmond, obviously, it's a meat yeah. company. Then Naked Glory, which is, I believe, is just a plant-based company, um, is a better option because it's so close. And I think we actually like this better, didn't we, yeah, compared think, think to the, the other one. one? Although it's really nice, it is a little bit too salty. Um, yeah. You know, so, and you, you get the same kind of flavor hit with the Naked Glory one without all that salt. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I, I would probably prefer to go for that. So we'll skip number three. I'll reveal that at the end. <gasps> number four. <laughs> Number four is the Plant Pioneers Shroom Dogs, right? So this is just a, a regular Shroom Dogs version with no, you know, added extra spices or whatever. So that's just a regular sausage, which we weren't too keen on because we 
tasted like pee in it, it didn't it, we? Like it was all right. I mean, it's none none of these were horrible at all. Yeah. But it's just that you know some of them just kind of have a little kind of edge to them that maybe is not that nice. Yeah. Um, you know. And then the the fifth one was the meatless farm. Um, sausage which we thought it was quite soft and mushy so maybe not yeah. quite baked through fully because it was just a five seven, seven minutes i did that well, if one that's, if that's what it's telling you to do though then mm. you know i mean I, I can't imagine it kind of firming up too much with it yeah. extra few minutes so yeah it, it, you know your consistency is going to be fairly smooth with that yeah. one so the winner is drum roll or whatever <laughs> is <laughs> the moving mountain sausage um, and i'm so so happy about that actually guys let me get the package so this sausage is actually um housed in the freezer section right so it's not in the chilled aisle but it's in the freezer section and apparently it's recommended to um you know to cook these from um frozen mm. And it only gives instructions in a frying pan. I did bake it and it did work quite well. So it works. Yeah. So I've kind of let it defrost a little bit um, and then I've cooked it, you know, I baked it and it worked just fine. But why I'm excited that we enjoyed this the best is because this is a, a UK company, right? But the owner of the company is vegan. Oh, fantastic. You know, yeah. so it's a genuinely vegan company, this, whereas others, I think even though they are plant-based companies, but the owners are not quite vegan or um, they're just obviously going with the trend of plant-based yeah. and, you know, giving the like business solution or alternatives to meat products, where this company is actually genuinely yeah. Um, the owner has the same vegan. ethics. And yeah, yeah and the, the Moving Mountains, interestingly, the, the mission is that they are trying to move mountains, you know? With sausages. With sausages, <laughs> yes. <It's> hard task, that. <laughs> with, with amazingly tasting plant-based foods, they're trying to move this, you know, um, the task, the, like a hard task of basically moving the whole food industry, yeah. you know, moving this obstacle, like moving the mountain. That's why their um, their mission is their logo as well. So I really love that. I quite like that, yeah. It's, it's um, good. Yeah, and then they do other things as well. So I'll have to look for their um, mints and I think some other things. I'll have to have a look what else they have. But yeah. We are really blown away by the by their sausages, but I'll I'll show you a picture of all the contenders we've um, tasted. Mm. But yeah, so that is definitely the winner. I think we'll uh, we don't eat too much of a processed food, you know, like we get these kind of frozen things once in a while, you know, just for like a bit of variety, right? Or yeah, just when we don't have time to cook, so it's nice to have something in the freezer, and that's great because obviously they're already a freezer item. It, it's a nice addition if you've got mostly a, a, a whole food kind of meal, and then you can maybe put one sausage on the side, you know, as a kind of just a slight. Oh, come process. on, couple of sausages. You need a couple. Well, it always ends up a couple, it's, but it, you it's know. four, so it's perfect for a couple, two sausages right. each, right? Perfect. And they're quite, you know, good size, as you saw, much much larger than the others, so. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. So yeah, so I'm happy. I hope you like this video. I hope you found this helpful. Give us a thumbs up um, if you like the video, if it helped you to decide on, um, you know, which sausage to try, which sausage to, um, to buy or to go for um, in UK supermarkets. Um, and remember guys, food is fuel. So be mindful what you put in your body. Um, and also subscribe if you're new to, to this channel, subscribe because I release videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays so I do all sorts of vegan uh, healthy recipes, sometimes reviews like this and also weight loss tips too. So until next time. Bye guys.